So hello, hello and welcome um, Oliver here and today I want to talk about used microscopes and my opinion about used microscopes uh, because I received a question again and I would like to yes uh, give you my take on, on, on this question. I frequent antique shops, flea markets, garage sales and occasionally see old microscopes for sale. I actually bought a 1970s era American Optical 110 MicroStar that I'm now using. Do you have any general recommendation or general comments uh, regarding buying old used microscopes? I'm seeing old Wetzlar, Bausch and Lomb, etc. And I'm always wondering if they might be good choices depending on the price and condition. I know you can't comment about any particular microscopes because you haven't seen or tried them, but say you saw an old and you can now insert your brand name microscope at a flea market and it was inexpensive. What would you be thinking about regarding actually buying it? Many thanks. Thank you for the question. Interesting question and also a very um, common question. And as always, I'm probably not going to give you a very simple yes, no answer, but a more balanced one. And uh, I want to simply now start off uh, by telling you one of the things that I've uh, read, especially in German microscopy forums. Um, and uh, there are some people in the German microscopy forums, there seem to be two different two different views on the issue. And the one common view is, is that um, what, uh, people recommend or some microscopists recommend uh, buy yourself not a new microscope, but buy yourself a refurbished used microscope. Okay, because they say for the same price, you get more value. That is basically the argument. Okay. Um, and the second uh, view is, is the following. Um, and the second, don't buy yourself uh, a used microscope, especially if you're a beginner, because you don't know what you're buying. Um, and if you're just uh, out for observing, um, and then simply go ahead, buy yourself a new microscope, microscope that you're happy with, and uh, you'll be fine. And then you can almost have a guarantee that the microscope will work fine and that, that you're going to enjoy microscopy. So you see, there are two different views on, on this issue. Um, I think it's a question of taste. Okay. Um, I uh, now, however, have a different, uh, yet a different uh, view on the issue. Um, and uh, the question is now the following. Um, how would, would I, what, what would I do if I were to see a low cost, good microscope um, somewhere? It doesn't even have to be on a flea market, it can be eBay. Would I buy it? And <laughs> I would probably say, I would probably be inclined to buy it if it were a microscope, if it were an Olympus microscope, because then it would fit into my existing system. However, it is like this, I might not buy it because I don't have the space. <laughs> okay, so it's a, a, a pro and con, of course. Um, it is like this, uh, that um, I think it is not only a question of cost, and I think it is not only a question of the type of microscope or whether it's good quality or whether it works or it does not work. I think it is more a question on how you define your hobby of microscopy. And I need to explain this. If I am, if I am, if I were be, if I would be into uh, collecting old microscopes and repairing them and refurbishing them, then of course um, I'm also going to buy a very, uh, yeah, used microscopes that might not work very well. Okay, so even the condition maybe does not have to be very good because maybe it does have this one objective that I really want to have. Okay, and that's why I'm going to buy the whole microscope. And but that is a different uh, um, approach than if I were to define uh, microscopy as a hobby, as a, let's say an observation hobby, where I say I actually for me the microscope itself itself is more of a tool to observe the environment and I'm not so much interested in the microscope itself I'm not so much interested in collecting it refurbishing it um, I don't know uh, upgrading it and so on so it depends quite a bit um, on um, the way that you define microscopy as a hobby I personally if I saw a, a, a low-cost uh, um, Olympus CH2 or CHA microscope and if it were low cost, then I'd probably be more inclined to buy it because then I have more spare parts. Um, it would fit into my existing systems that I have and so on. Um, if I were to find another uh, low cost microscope uh, of a different brand, I'd be thinking, hmm, I don't know if I actually have the space to actually store it. Okay. Um, so um, you see, it is not for me, not only a question really of, of uh, whether the microscope is of good quality or bad quality or whether it works or does not work, uh, but there are also other criteria that kind of play a little bit um, a role here. Okay. Um, generally, um, I think, the, I, I guess the question is more general is, is uh, do I consider used microscopes generally an option? And I'm saying, of course, why not? Um, 
but it depends again a little bit of what your interests are. I mean, I'll give you an example here. This is a microscope here. That's uh, this one here I bought new, the CH40. Okay, this is the big one here. But the CHA microscope um, is used. It has been in operation for 30 years um, inside uh, in the school where I work. Okay, and after 30 or over 30 years of operation, it was like this that uh, it was essentially they had to be um, yeah exchanged because um, all the focus knobs, all of the mechanics, the focus knobs, and also the, the X uh, and the Y the mechanical stage uh, they uh, did not uh, turn anymore because the the lubrication oil started to solidify okay that's a normal thing it's got to be cleaned then it's got to be delubricated so you have to use a solvent you got to take everything apart you've got to use a solvent to remove the old oil you have to re-lubricate re everything and then you, it works again so these microscopes were essentially you said they were useless, okay, for because uh, they could not be operated at all. They were not, it was not only difficult to turn, it was impossible to turn. Um, so essentially they had to be thrown out. Uh, and uh, I got them, uh, one of them free of charge because essentially it was uh, not used anymore. So I got it and then basically what am I going to do with that? And I said, okay, I'm going to decide now. I'm going to um, use the microscope and I'm going to redefine my hobby a little bit. And I'm going to teach myself now how to repair microscopes. So that was kind of the intention a little bit. And I started uh, carefully taking it apart. I even found online a manual on how to take a service manual. They even have service manuals on how to service them. Okay, so these microscopes are meant to be taken apart and serviced, okay? Uh, so these are not throwaway uh, consumer end uh, consumer devices, but actually were meant to be in operation for a very long time. Um, and um, I, after a few hours of, of carefully taking it apart, I realized that they didn't have the, prop uh, the proper tools. And I kind of also started to reconsider a little bit and said, well, actually, hmm, uh, why don't I just uh, contact a proper service company and they should uh, service the microscope for me and I'm going to redefine it everything because I actually want to have a functioning microscope. I don't want to use it simply to train myself how to repair microscopes but I want to have a functioning microscope which I'm going to upgrade to use phase contrast. So I changed my opinion a little bit about this. Okay, um, So I ended up ultimately paying just 200 euros. It's, I don't know, 220, 230 US dollars simply for getting it re-lubricated and cleaned. For that money, you get you get a new microscope, okay? And I paid another around 250, 300 euros uh, for a phase contrast set, okay, which I bought secondhand. So um, essentially, for me, it was worth investing that much money because essentially now I have a microscope that is like new and has all of the features that I want. Okay, um, so I kind of so for me um, getting this microscope was well worth it. Okay, for somebody else it might not be well worth it. Okay, um, so it depends a lot on how you define your interests in the field of microscopy, and this depends also um, on whether you are willing to spend uh, money on um, a used microscope, which ultimately might not be so much cheaper at the end. Okay. Um, but uh, simply, um, it was like this, that for, for the optics and the phase contrast, I mean, that was one of the ways for me to go. And uh, ultimately, that is how I then ultimately changed my view um, around and where I said, okay, I'm willing to spend more money simply getting it serviced, okay? Um, so that is uh, kind of the, the, the thing that I kind of want to make my point here is, is um, if I saw an old microscope and it was inexpensive, what would you think about regarding actually buying it? Um, would I buy it? I would probably have to restrain myself Myself and uh, say, well, maybe I have the urge to buy it, but I myself defined microscopy as a hobby, not so much as uh, as collecting it. I already have five microscopes that work. Okay, do I really need a sixth one? Okay, um, and for me, I have defined the hobby more right now um, of actually observing nature and making YouTube films, okay, and videos, um, and that is basically my approach. Um, and other people might have a different approach. It's a little bit like I don't know. I was also some years ago into flying radio-controlled model airplanes. Some people. Like the flying part more and some people like the building part more it's usually always a combination of both uh, but it's a question really where is the emphasis okay and some people like more the building part and then trying it out that if it works and they fly it a little bit or other people simply buy a complete model airplane which is already yeah, everything finished right out of the box um, and maybe it's in microscopy the same thing I mean there are some people who like to collect slides microscopy slides old slides some people like to collect microscopes themselves um, other people like uh, like to um, who, they don't care so much about the microscope they care more about the observing part and taking pictures um, other people like to con contribute a lot in in, um, in web forms exchanging pictures so photography is important art maybe uh, micro photographic uh, photo photo micrographic art I rather have to say and um, there are all different ways of how you can interpret the hobby and I think um, the decision of whether to buy used or new microscopes kind of plays a little bit into that question how do you define your hobby and, and what are your interests okay um, 
so that is kind of the my my view uh, my view here. Um, to a certain extent, it's a question of taste. And if you're happy with whatever you have and with whatever microscope you have, it's great. Uh, after all, it is a hobby um, and uh, you should have enjoyment with it. And uh, there are different people who have different um, approaches uh, to that. And I think uh, the first uh, step would be is, I think, uh, to obtain a microscope which actually does work, where you can actually do see things that you can participate in the observation part and then the second or third or fourth microscope uh, yeah you, you do whatever you want i mean uh, whatever gives you whatever gives you enjoyment uh, enjoyment i would say okay wish you all the best happy microbe hunting as always leave your comments like and subscribe visit the microscopy shop links are all in the description bye bye